HPA community. So as you all know, the Harry Potter Alliance is a nonpartisan organization. That means we don't align ourselves with any political party or any other independent party in the political sphere. We look at issues as they come up and we talk about them as we do through the people and not necessarily through politics. That being said, the HPA is still a huge advocate for participation. And that means voting. Now the reason why I'm talking about absentee ballot voting is because I am going to be away from my voting area this upcoming election. And if you haven't heard, it's the upcoming presidential election for the US. I don't know how you haven't heard because it's everywhere. Now some parts of this video aren't necessarily going to be for the international HPA community, but the overarching theme is that Voting is good. I know that sounds like a simple statement to make, but by simply letting your government know which person you want to represent your community as a whole is huge. In order to get an absentee ballot, you have to apply for it. Now it's going to be different in every single state for the U.S. Um, because how different counties and states and areas vote is all different. So what my advice is, is to Google absentee ballot and then your area. Usually it's just you can just do whatever state you're living in. So I googled absentee ballot um, in Virginia, which came up like this. Virginia State Board of Elections. Woo! Um, and it gives you all the lists. It tells you if you can apply for an absentee ballot, what you have to do. I'm sure you could do it online because everything's online now. And then you get this and you fill out the form. And then you send that in. And you can probably go to your voter registration office to, to get these as well. You don't have to just do it online. Do some research. Google is your friend. It will help you. If you're not going to be within your area on the day of the election this November, please, please get an absentee ballot. My friend Mallory put this in the best way possible. And it, this applies for everybody who lives in a democracy. And that is that people died to give you the right to vote. And I think we kind of forget that, that especially, you know, in the U.S., there was such a fight to be able to represent ourselves and to kind of disregard that, that people fought tooth and nail, that people died to let us have the right to say, we want this person to govern us, it is amazing. and. It's inspiring. And I think that goes for every democracy. I mean, people didn't necessarily die in other countries, but there is always a fight. There's Democracy is not something that we got simply by signing the Constitution, by simply signing the Declaration of Independence. We got it because we wanted it and we fought for it. This is my plea to you to participate not only in voting here but in every other campaign that you can think of. People are not as fortunate as we are and the fact that we get to stand up and say we want to change things is awesome and amazing. Um, also check out our Indiegogo Equality for the Win stuff because we're doing so well. We're the little campaign that could. Links in the under box description thing. I will see you guys next week. Laura and I will see you on Friday and peace out.